Hello, Gemini, and welcome to your mid-month tarot reading. I hope you're doing good. I hope that you are well wherever you are in the world. So yeah, thank you so much for joining me once again. Make sure to like the video and subscribe. You guys have been showing up for me like crazy in the past couple months, and I'm really grateful for how the Gemini family is expanding on the channel. Okay, so let's start by picking the energy supporting you right now. What do we need to know? Okay, we have the Four of Swords that is coming out for you. So this is a beautiful energy, you know, the Four of Swords comes after the Three of Swords. There's a lot of healing. We are finally in the acceptance energy of something that could have happened to us. Um, so you could have been healing the end of a relationship, the end of an important cycle of something that was precious for you. Uh, you're doing better slowly but surely. I think that there's a lot of respecting your own timing and limits when it comes to taking care of yourself, your mind, body, soul. The Four of Swords, to me, also can be connected to chakra. Uh, and you don't have to be, you know, into chakra healing and everything. But I feel like you're more aligned. Again, slowly but surely. And it, it feels really good to see this card as general energy. So we'll see what's all about and what's coming up. Let's take the tarot. What do we need to know for Gemini? What do we need to know for Gemini? okay so we have the five of cups so you've definitely be, been through a lot gemini there's this there's this grief that you're carrying with you and i don't know if it's about love i don't know if it's again about a cycle that ended in your life um but you are giving yourself time to heal properly i think that there could have been something that happened to you and you felt like it was the end of the world um like you didn't really know where to go from there i feel like there could have been someone who disappointed you but you are on the right track when i see the five of cups it can be an uncomfortable feeling but what i like about this energy is that you are giving space for grief in your life. And grief is not always when we deal with physical loss, okay? As humans, we go through these periods of grief all the time. Um, sometimes bigger, smaller, you know, sometimes it's uh, heavier. But there's something that you are definitely in the process of healing. You might not be that aware of it, but I think that there's going to be a lot coming up for you. And Pisces season is coming to an end. Gemini, it's not easy. It's not easy. So you see, we have the two of cups. So the two cups that are standing here in the five of cups are really important. You're focusing on what feels good for you. You are focusing on the people that are there for you no matter what. So there could have been a huge kind of cleanup in your circle. Who is here for me? Who wants the best for me? Who is only around when I'm not doing good? You know, a lot of people feed off that. Uh, I think that you're definitely starting fresh when it comes to your relationship. Okay, so I like that. It's, it's not a coincidence that the two cups are coming in here. Um, if you are single looking for love, there could definitely be someone coming in and surprising you. A lot of people say that the two of cups is like a, a lesser version of, of the lover's card. But in, in my opinion, it's sometimes a friendship that could lead to love or, you know, romantic love. But at the end of the day... Um, especially with the five of cups and the four of swords like how are you offering this cup to yourself and i know it sounds a little weird but like how are you before anything before you know seeking validation somewhere else before wanting the affection of somewhere some, someone else how are you giving that cup to yourself okay and that is a big lesson you're learning right now 
We have the Ace of Swords and the Moon. Yeah, so you're definitely changing your perspective about something. I think that mentally, spiritually, energetically, you are ready for a new beginning. You don't really know what's going to happen. And I think that you are accepting and riding the wave of the unknown. The Moon card is so mysterious. We don't know what's coming next. We are in the dark about a lot of things and just the experience of being a human on this planet. We are always in the unknown. We have no idea what's going to happen tomorrow. Okay. Not even the tarot can predict uh, what's going to happen tomorrow and in a year and five years because you have free will. Okay. So you're definitely taking charge, cutting through the bullshit, cleaning up uh unnecessary things i feel like it's not only energetically i do feel like someone could be trying to get a little bit more minimalistic i don't know how to say it um in french we say minimalist but it feels like you want to start fresh you are definitely trying to make everything more comfortable uh maybe you've been getting rid of all things that you were attached to. It feels like you're kind of disconnecting from this materialistic um, headspace. And I'm not saying you are or you were materialistic and there's nothing bad there. It's just that your perspective is changing. Um, I'm hearing what you own owns you. Like you don't want that. It feels like some of you maybe are, are thinking about starting fresh or moving somewhere else and you want to be carrying the less possible things with you is what I'm feeling. I don't know. I don't know why I'm feeling that. It's really intuitive, but I feel like someone wants to travel light. I don't need all these things around me. They don't necessarily make me happy. Uh, they don't confirm my success. Hmm. I like this change of perspective, definitely. And I feel like it's coming from you losing either someone that you really cared about or, again, realizing that nothing is really what it seems. You're, I feel like other people's action and behavior has been really impacting your life. Yeah, the sun and the two of swords in the reverse. So see, we have the moon and then we have the sun here. So you're definitely clearer. You have a clear vision, slowly but surely. There's nothing that's rushed here. There's this beautiful, slow-moving energy, and I like it. Uh, respecting your own timing when it comes to healing, grief, self-love, and you know, letting people in. But with the sun here, it's like you're definitely making more space for the things that you love and the things that feel good for you in the present moment. I really like that. We, we There's such a shift here happening in this row. There's the moon on the Two of Swords card, the moon here, and then we switch into the sun. We're letting go of fear. We're like, you know what? I've been through so much. I am ready for the next big thing to come into my life. I am open to it. I'm definitely, again, cutting through the bullshit. I think that you're re realizing so much. There's a lot of things that, things and people, a lot of things that felt like a burden. Like it wasn't supposed to come with you into the, this next chapter. And I don't know how it all started, but I think it started from a loss. Deep pain, definitely. Could have happened years ago. We have the Four of Cups in the reverse and the Empress. You're opening up to love also. Definitely opening up to, again, what's next? What is waiting for me? The Empress is all about receiving. It's a Venus ruled card. So receiving the love that you always want it, that you are always looking for. It feels like you could definitely be mating someone, and I don't want to make this a love reading, but I feel like you could be kind of spontaneously, randomly mating someone who sparks something in you, someone who is really intelligent, articulate. They turn you on. Their mind turn you on. Beautiful conversation. There's this openness, um, they are ready to receive 
energy from someone like you. This is someone who is on your level. And I feel like they could be different from your usual type or, again, it could be so sudden. Someone asking you to go on a date, someone introducing you to a new person, and you just have a really impactful conversation with them. And you're like, wow, you were able to go deeper than some people I had in my life for years and years. Like, again, their mind turns you on. There's something beautiful about that here. Um, you're going to be happy you said yes to either go to an event or say yes to an invitation. So if you get invited to somewhere, you know, somewhere by a friend, family member, I don't know, but there's definitely some type of event, some type of meeting, you saying yes kind of out of the blue and then meeting someone really interesting there again you don't have to be looking for love if you are that could be definitely about romantic love it could start with a friendship um but you could also meet a new friend that could change your life forever and maybe you're the type of person who's been like no new friends i don't want no new friends i don't need new people um and again, there's going to be a change of perspective. You're going to be really happy you said yes to something. I like that. And the Empress is a lot about that. You know, being open to receive is also saying yes sometimes. If it feels in alignment with us, it's not about forcing ourselves to say yes to everything. But like, okay, usually I would have said no right away, but I'm going to, I'm going to have fun and get out of my comfort zone. Give me one more before we clarify. We have the Knight of Wands, yeah. So definitely I feel like it's connected to this kind of event. I don't know why it's coming out so strongly for me uh, intuitively. Like you're gonna dress up, look good, feel good, smell good, and you're gonna go somewhere and meet someone. And you're gonna be like, I'm so happy I met you tonight. I I'm feeling myself. I feel like this is a good timing. And there's definitely something about the conversation you will have with this person is gonna be really impactful. You could be sharing something about your dreams, about spirituality, or again, uh, connecting on a loss that you've been through. Let me take another deck and... I want to start clarifying. This is a really cool reading because everything seems aligned for you to take a new di direction. And I like it. I like the flow and the energy uh, of the rest of March for you. I'm not saying it's easy, but it's definitely beautiful. It's definitely beautiful and life changing. There's there's a really powerful energy that comes from the moon, the sun, and the empress. It's like, yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready for blessings. I'm ready for good things to come my way. Okay, let's start clarifying for you, Gemini. If you're still watching, I deeply appreciate it. So what do we have here? The queen of wands and the king of pentacles. There's definitely a power couple here that is expanding together, learning about each other, going on a couple dates. It feels good. There's passion. There's a lot of attraction. But there's also, I feel right away, some type of <sighs> trust. I was hearing confiance. In French, we say trust is confiance. It, it, it feels so good. It's like, it's the type of person that you've been manifesting and attracting in your life. You could have, you could already know them. If you're already in a relationship, you could be getting to the next level of this relationship, thinking about what's next for us. Do you want to travel this summer? Do you maybe want to move in together? Where are we going from here? I think that there's a lot of talks, serious talks about the future of a relationship. Again, if it's not romantic, it can be with um, a friend finding the perfect roommate for you. But again, I feel like there's a power couple here. And with the Queen of Wands, I know that there's like passion, attraction, um, a really powerful connection when it comes to the physical. 
But again, it could be anyone. Yeah, the fool and the hangman. This is really, a, this is a special combination here. Um, you're definitely willing to put yourself through some uncomfortable situation or get out of your comfort zone. Um, I feel like, and you know, the hangman is Pisces. We are ending Pisces season and I, and I can't uh, say it enough. Right now, Pisces season is going to clear out all the bullshit. It's the end of the zodiacal year. With every season happening really soon, we are starting. It's like the new year when it comes to astrology. So with the fool, there's a new beginning. You are closing a door, releasing a lot of uncomfortable moments, a lot of deep conversation, a lot of mystery because Neptune is so mysterious and it brings a lot of weird, powerful change. We don't really know how to explain these things. A lot of synchronicity. Um, and then we have the fool. It's like, I don't necessarily know what's next, but you know what? I, I'm open to the blessings. I'm open to uh, the magic, the mystery. It feels really good. I think that, again, I, I feel intuitively like you could be thinking about traveling this next summer or planning a little road trip, planning a little something that is just getting you out of your comfort zone. Um, going out there and being with the people that makes you feel good. Uh, I, re I really like what I'm seeing here. Again, it's going to... The first answer that's going to come out of you when you get invited to either a trip or an event, it's, it's going to be saying no. And then it, fe it feels like your intuition, there's going to be this little voice being like, yeah, take a chance, take, take a leap. Take a small leap. You know, leap of faiths, they don't have to be these big ass thing all the time. You know, it doesn't have to be complicated and elaborate and this thing that you plan. I feel like you're saying yes. And I don't know why I'm feeling that. But when you come back to this reading in a month, and I hope you do, I think that you're going to know exactly what I'm talking about. But right now, there's a lot of mystery around this yes for me. I wish I knew. Queen of Pentacles, yeah. Queen of Pentacles in the reverse and temperance. Getting out of your comfort zone. Slowly dipping your toes into a new relationship, into a new living situation, into a new project. I don't know what it is, but it's beautifully aligned with your mind, body, soul. Again, everything you do right now is part of a really serious healing journey. Uh, and I don't know, again, if you're completely aware of it. I feel like you're going to be noticing a lot of signs, a lot of little synchronicities, repetitive number, meeting people out of the blue, having these beautiful talks. Um, there's so much clarity. And I don't know why. I don't know if you changed something, Gemini, about your day-to-day -day routine or maybe you quit smoking, quit drinking or just... You know, doing something in moderation, I feel, could really impact your overall clarity is what I'm feeling. So if you connect with that message, there's something really important here for you. Gemini, have you been smoking less, drinking less, you know, drinking more water, being more aware of your sleep routine? You're doing something with moderation right now that is just the beginning. It's you planting a seed that will grow and grow and it will have a lot more impact on your mind, body, soul than you think, especially your body. So I don't know who connects with that message, but it feels really powerful to me. Um, you might feel like it's not enough. Uh, your brain might tell you to go in extremes, you know, be perfect, do it the perfect way. It's all about doing it slowly and planting seeds, you know, one bite at a time. And these little changes are gonna be impacting completely your state of mind and again your body so i don't know what you've been doing but you're definitely working on your overall happiness right now and you're doing so good gemini you could be really hard on yourself right now again i feel like your brain could be taking you into these extremes like okay i need this right now uh, I want to fall in love, I want to make more money, I want to start this and that. But I think that right now, 
uh, there's something you need to look at before this big new beginning. That's why the fool is here. The fool is the moment before the leap of faith. It's zero. It's like when we feel like nothing is really happening and we don't know what's our next step, but we feel like something crazy and big and beautiful is coming. And that's exactly it. You're, you're definitely walking towards this 10 of cups. Um, and you're taking your time. There's no rush. It's, you know, healing and um, getting to this dream life of yours is not a race. And I feel like you're learning to enjoy every little steps in between this big change that's coming for you. Really powerful energy. I think that the month of March is definitely a month of mental rest for you. If you don't feel like you have time <laughs> to rest uh, physically and mentally, it's totally fine, but you're definitely more aware that you might need it a little bit more than usual, okay? So let's pick an oracle card for you. I love this reading. I hope you got something out of it, and I hope it felt good, because I feel like there's this calm energy to you. I keep seeing someone just, just smiling a little bit and being like, you know, I'm good. I'm doing okay. And I'm open to what's coming for me. I really like the energy I'm connecting with. Gemini. What do we have here? No, sleep on it. Okay, so again, nothing should be rushed right now. So if you feel like you are in a rush to create something or there's something that you're a little bit obsessed with, which is totally fine, you know, remember you're a human being it's totally valid if you're obsessing over some things if you're really focused on being perfect in a specific area of your life but um this is weird that no is coming out and i was saying that there's something about a yes so make sure to check in make sure to spend time with yourself and really check in with yourself what feels good what feels good right now so I feel like this could be for right now, today, as you're watching this reading. If there's something that is bugging you, something that's on your mind that you feel like it should be rushed, like your brain is rushing you to do it, definitely sleep on it. Um, beautiful, uh, like contradictive energy here. Uh, you know, we're human beings. Again, there's always going to be our brain, our soul fighting. I was hearing a yes and seeing this, it's like, okay. So the Four of Swords is really about slowing down, taking the time you need to make good decisions for yourself. Let me pick another one. Let me pick another one. Crescent moon, keep moving forward. You got this. And there's the beautiful Bert of Venus symbology here. Again, this is a lot about the Empress and how you are opening to anything that's coming your way. You know, I really, really like that for you. You're definitely on the right track. And I feel like this could be the slow period before a new beginning. Uh, we have the Ace of Swords here, the Sun. I really like this reading for you. Enjoy, take care of yourself. And I can't wait, honestly, to do the April reading for you guys. And I hope that you tune in, Gemini, okay? Take good care of yourself. Until next time, bye-bye.